What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another edition of the Jericho Report Weekly News Briefing. It is Sunday, the 12th of March, 2023. Halfway through March already. I can't believe it. The wind chill here is 36. It is a cold, rainy night in St. Louis. What's the weather where you are? As always, the first link below will take you over to the Patreon post. That's where you can find all the madness. It's been another week of madness indeed. Let's just jump into it. Vaccine makers are preparing for the bird flu. The bird flu is the next big thing now. Yes, the U.S. considers vaccinating chickens. You catch that? The U.S. considers vaccinating all chickens as bird flu kills millions of them. Be advised, chicken vaccinations inbound. The death rattle. Uh, mystery is Australians dying at levels never seen in 80 years. The U.K. might be seeing the same phenomenon. It's a complete mystery, completely baffling. Look at this now. Local researchers studying COVID lingering effects. Now, uh, you know, all these heart problems and everything, I'm going to be careful not to say too much. Uh, apparently, it's uh, COVID. Uh, they're going to give you a heart attack uh, long years from now. I'll put a link. Do you see how they're doing this? COVID vaccine may lower your risk of heart attacks, it says. Strokes after... Do you understand the, the, the uh, what do you call it? The rope-a-dope, the, 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 what do you call it? The, the, the Jedi mind trickery. Do you see what they're doing here? I can't say too much. Anyway, let's move on. Why COVID deaths among vaccinated show that boosters matter. Better get your booster. Put a link from the AMA. Let's see. Dr. Redfield flips. The virus was unnatural. Most likely come from a lab. I'll put a link to this. We got Fox News. Former CDC director slams gain of function research possibly caused the greatest pandemic in history. Put a link to that. Yeah, listen to what he says. They wanted a single narrative. Why do you think you were excluded from those calls? I, I, because it was, I was told to me that uh, they wanted a single narrative and that I obviously had a different point of view. Okay. Yeah. Any other point of view was was just completely eradicated. You know, they, they censored our videos. They just they took it down. It's all misinformation unless we tell you. And Joe Biden is this week. Apparently he's got his brain taken apart or something. And I had uh, these terrible headaches. I was diagnosed with having a... a uh, anyway, they had to take the top of my head off a couple times <laughs> see if I had a brain. And his wife, apparently, uh, Joe Biden awards the uh, International Woman of Courage Award to a man. That makes sense. And I got one at the bottom there. Mitch McConnell apparently was hospitalized after he fell in a DCLR or fell down, you see. So you see, up is down, left is right, dogs living with cats, mass hysteria. <sighs> Over to financial news, how major U.S. stock index has fared on the Friday. Looks like the Dow Jones fell 345 points, closed at 31,909. For the week, the Dow was actually down 1,481. Big slump in the market. Put a link to the data. Mile-long line for free food offers. Uh, warning is COVID benefits and People are running out of benefits and looking for free food. Did you see this? Investors implore U.S. government to step in after Silicon Valley bank failed. A bank failed. A bank went under. This is like not big news. This is going to be big news in the coming week, I guarantee you. We also had Wells Fargo customers. A glitch caused money to disappear, leaving negative balances. <laughs> Sorry about that. Put a link to it. U.S. beef cattle inventory lowest since 1962. Uh, more time, more rocky stuff in the in the, uh, in, in the farming markets and the food markets. So this is out of a heartbreaking message from a Dutch farmer. Tonight was the last time we milked our cows after 90 years. Uh, as organic dairy sector, we aren't allowed to continue because we labeled a peak a polluter. Yeah, you ask young people, what's the peak pollution? Check this out. Farming needs to stop. That's the single biggest driver of climate change. These are the same people that are going to happily line up. Having a digital identity would make life easier. They'll, they'll happily line up to give away their digital identity. Put a link to that. California, reparations now, uh, 360,000. The state never allowed slavery. Put a link to this right, brother. There's a professor out there that uh, apparently wants to have black bereavement uh, leave every, uh, after killing of every black person. We should have black bereavement. Okay. Adidas to cut uh, dividend 80% after losing $1.3 billion after severing ties with Kanye West. That's awesome. And Blackstone to acquire Ancestry.com for $4.7 billion, giving investment firm total ownership of DNA every person who has ever used the service. These people to just willingly gave up their DNA. Here, take my DNA, New World Order. Do whatever you want to do with it. Over to New World Order and Police State News, where I stop and actually share the video. I'm going to play a little clip for you. This girl puts it together with, with all the train crashes and stuff going on, this thing about smart cities. Listen to what she has to say about smart cities. You're not going to want to miss this one. So I've been seeing a lot about smart cities, and I decided to do a little digging myself. According to the World Economics Forum's website, 36 cities over 22 countries are participating in these smart cities. But many more is to come. So what is a smart city? Smart city stands for Surveillance Monitoring Analysis Reporting Technology. 
Basically, a digital ID will be given to every resident that will track in real time all of their daily movements, their activities, their spending habits, um, even their carbon footprint. They will be given 15 minute travel times to complete their daily activities unless they have a permit. And if they exceed those 15 minutes, they can be denied access to their spending and their activities that they need to do for the day. So, of course, you're like, I'm not going to move to one of those cities, right? Well, listen to well, this. Here's the thing. Because of the laws governing the Agenda 2030 land development, the government can actually seize polluted lands and force the residents to move. So if the government deems the land and water around you polluted, they can force you to move from your homes to these cities. So all of these train derailments food processing plant fires, Interesting and other ecological disasters that are happening, they're beginning to make a lot more sense now. Just want to throw that in there. I thought that was great. And, of course, you won't be able to fight back against this, at least not with assault weapons. I the effort when I was a senator to pass the assault weapons ban, and we banned assault. We're going to ban assault weapons again. He's running his mouth again this week. And they want to keep you distracted with all this January 6th bullshit. Oh, Tucker Carlson and all this crap. I'll throw a little, oh, it's, it's a travesty. I'll put a link to this. Documentary filmmaker says Tucker Carson uh, releasing January 6th footage. A huge threat to our republic. Yes, the truth is a huge threat to our republic. This is all just noise. And you know what the huge threat is? Look at this. All poultry to be registered under new government plans. Now, this is out of the UK, mind you, but, you know, the New World Order. You know, and it's not just going to be in the UK. Chickens kept in gardens will have to be registered under plan new rules. That's what you need to be focused on, not some Tucker Carlson January 6th bullshit. What's going on up in Canada? Listen to what he We're has to say. We're investing $5.5 million to build capacity of civil society organizations to combat disinformation. Mm -hmm. Got to combat that disinformation. Uh, deporting fentanyl dealers violates sanctuary city policies, says San Francisco. So fentanyl is in in California. Police tell Catholic women praying uh, this is an offense after she's arrested. This is over in the UK. Praying outside an abortion clinic is an arrestable offense. People on the street. Look, this is the result of the 24-7 brainwashing. Listen to this. What's a straight white men good Sorry. for? Straight white men? Yeah. Not a lot. What's our straight white men good for? Oh, that's a hard one. I don't know. <laughs> Do you think straight white men are important? No. <laughs> We're all this is, I just, look, you, look at this young girl performs drag queen. This is what it's doing to society. I can only play this for a second because this is the child abuse. The, the whole video is sickening. I'll put a link to it. And this is how Hitler was started. Look at this. Just weeding everybody out. Cindy Lauper brazenly compares Republicans restricting gender-affirming care to Nazis under Adolf Hitler. You disappoint me, Cindy Lauper. Crazy madness, you know. The world of the upside down, if you watch Stranger Things, is now the normal. And if you think it's not the normal, well, you're, the, you're a Nazi. Over to World War III news. This is the U.S. military warning of Russian nuke subs off the coast. What? That reported from Newsmax on March 6th. Put a link to that. U.S. assessing Ukrainians uh, for possible S-16 training, says NBC. That from RT. Wartime scenario unfolds as Taiwan suspects Chinese cut undersea internet cables. What? Not the undersea internet cables. Meanwhile, we got an update. Uh, intelligence suggests pro-Ukrainian group is who sabotaged the pipelines over in Russia. So the U.S. SEAL teams now identify as pro-Ukrainian group. I thought that was funny. Fire started on the third floor of the Ministry of Internal Affairs in Russia. Who started that fire? I don't know. I'll put a link to that. Biden asked for a massive $886 billion military budget for 2024. $886 billion. Put a link to that. Russia says U.S. biolabs still working on dangerous pathogens in the Ukraine. Wonder how much money's going to that. Put a link to it. Let's see. We got from the AP Saudi deal with Iran worries Israel shakes up the Middle East. We got Lil Kim's over there. He's uh, oversees the latest North Korean missile test uh, orders intensified drills for real war. I got some miscellaneous news here. Gunman kills at least six in Jehovah's Witnesses Hall in Germany. Got a couple more here. Survivors of deadly. We got this deadly Mexico abduction that happened over here. I guess there was some survivors returned to the U.S. Be careful. You go to Mexico. You may get abducted. And we got El Salvador's new mega prison full of MS-13 and uh, Chile-18 gangsters. Check it out. I just had to include that. That's just wild. So we take all the world's worst gang members, put them all in prison, uh, mega prison, and let them kill each other. I mean... I say, why not? That's what they seem to want to do when they're on the streets. All they don't want to do is kill each other. 
Over to Earth changes in 2012 news. And I got the earthquake set up for six points and above for the past week. We had a 6-0 on the 7th, another 6-0 on the 7th. I guess that's the only 6-0s this week. The earthquake's uh, kind of calming down. There is a volcano going off. I know there's a video over my favorites. I don't know if it's Indonesia. We'll check that at the end. I'll put a link to the earthquake data. Over in uh, California, we got a large help us message spotted in SoCal snow. Some residents grow desperate. Should have been prepared. Should have listened to Frankie McDonald. No, help us. Well, you know, people who have had their... Uh, roofs caved in on them, yeah, they need help. But, you know, if it's just uh, about being stranded, you know, stock up on food and water. What have we been talking about all these years? Shutting off water, or maybe they'll ship some of that stuff to the uh, to the east. The Las Vegas Valley residents who use too much having their water shut off. Put a link to that. Officials hold news conference. We got several train derailments this week. East Calhoun County. Uh, where is this at? Uh, this is in Alabama. Calhoun County, Alabama, we had a train derailment. We had a CSX freight train derails after striking rock slide in West Virginia. Uh, dumping uh, oil and diesel into the river. Put a link to that. We got residents told to shelter in place after train derailment in Springfield, Ohio. Another train derailment in Ohio. This is a new one. Put a link to that. And we had a Southwest Airlines flight filled with smoke. Makes emergency landing in Cuba after bird strike. Put a link to that. And speaking of that, have you seen the Biden FAA nominee can't answer a single question about aviation? I'll put a link to it. If you really you want to go down and listen to this, this guy knows nothing about aviation. And he's the guy in charge. Okay, teenage girl has her arm torn off in savage shark attack day after 14-year-old boy lost his leg in another mauling at the same Brazilian beach. Sharks are attacking people in Brazil. Put a link to that. Down in Florida, we got alligator. Alligator goes through a fence. Must be made in China. I don't know. Maybe he's just super strong. He's a gimmick that is fence. I'll kill everybody. I, 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 I. Got through the fence. Shout out to him. Deliver we got trees attacking people this week. Delivery driver narrowly avoids being crushed by a tree. Uh, Check this out. This tree's coming. Look at this. Almost hits him. And this guy over here wasn't so lucky. This tree, I say trees are domestic terrorists. Look at this. Watch what happens here. This is craziness. Be careful the tree you're working on. It could attack you at any moment. Oh, that hurts. Ow. Over in this strange and bizarre news, I got several videos to play. Apparently, there's a big dude talking trash dropped at the Walmart. And this guy saying, okay, hang on now. I think guy comes from around and this is fast forward this minute. There it goes. He looked like an old school ice cube. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Oh, no. Not the self checkout link. Oh, he went down. I'll put a link to that. We got some, uh, the new Dutch uh, culture over in Russian air. Look at this guy over, the, over in the Dutch. I guess the cops are. Uh, He's taking off his clothes over there. I don't know what's going on. Apparently, the people are <laughs> entertained by this. <laughs> they end up tasing him. He goes down. He goes down. I'll put a, I don't know what's going on there. Put like a, uh, over in uh, the modern Britain, we got this going on. There's apparently a machete fight in front of the KFC. There's a machete fight going on, be advised. I'll put a link to this. I don't know what what kind of Dirk Dirk is happening there. Oh my goodness. At the family court in Indianapolis, we got this going on. Go ahead, oh, damn. Damn. Somebody picks damn. up a computer, I think. Oh, it's... Oh, you get the... Oh. Whoa! He took the computer! Damn! Everybody in contempt. Everybody in contempt. Okay, seven-month-old, uh, seven-month pregnant Chicago woman, 21, and her unborn baby are shot and killed after she tried. She's seven months pregnant, trying to rob people. N just, uh, just craziness going on in Chicago. Out in LA, three LAPD officers shot in Lincoln Heights. Suspect dead. I think the officers are going to be okay. Put a link to that. This guy here, Be Kind Brigade, now threatening mass shooting people. Uh, let's we'll, we'll see what's going on here. It's 15 seconds. Check it out. This is the Be Kind people. Let's see. Uh, okay. I don't know if DHS or FBI or somebody looked into this guy. It looks like he might actually go shoot something up. I don't know. I don't know the man, but it, it doesn't look good. Put it like that. Terrifying moment. Uh, United passenger threatens he mass murder before trying to stab flight attendant in the neck. He says he's going to kill everybody on the plane, trying to open doors. Let me see. i got a, thing, a little clip on this. He, he gets up and says, I'm taking over this plane. As we made by God, since I'm taking over this plane. He's got a, a, some sort of stabbing object there. You know, passengers ain't gonna have it this day and age. The passengers get up and take his ass to the floor. He tries to swing in a flight attendant. He's got several people taking him down. Shout out to them. Put a link to that. People acting crazy in the, in the plane. Let's see, prominent executives speaking of Plane 55 who served Clinton and Obama administrations killed on board jet during severe turbulence over New England. 
severe turbulence. Yeah, I'm sure that's what killed her. I'll put a link to that. What is Britney Spears doing? Is she turning against the Illuminati? What is she doing in this crazy dance? It's like, it's like she's saying, F you, thumbs up to the Illuminati. Okay. She's going to shoot something? I don't know. She loves... It's hard to... Okay, it's the finger again. She's doing the... I don't know. I don't know if that's an F you to the Illuminati or if she's like on some sort of drug. I don't know. Cops release footage after five Utah cops yelling gun, gun, gun before a hail of gunfire. A sovereign citizen who didn't think he was... Okay, check it out. Let's see. They're trying to get him out of the car. Apparently he's a sovereign citizen. He ain't having it. He was reaching for a gun. And they, they just lit him up. Put a link to that. And I got one here. A woman, 41, jailed after forcing man to have sex with her while she was asleep. While he was asleep. Judge says there's no uh, distinction between this and raping a woman. How do you... Uh, this was very confusing to me. I'll put a link to it. For all the news, please check my favorite videos. There's that volcano. Uh, over in o Indonesia, there's a volcano going off. We got Big Alert, Train Derailments, West Virginia. There's a link there from Dabu. We got somebody was trampled, had a concert. People were trampled. Uh, let's see here. We got Aussies are dying. I got all kinds of stuff. 23, charge in domestic terrorism. Riot outside of Atlanta Public Safety Training Center. Definitely check my news. There's definitely updated news over there. And thank you to everybody putting out content, keeping everyone informed. You guys are doing awesome work. Will this guy ever shut up? You know, sometimes, I apologize. I feel like a run-on sentence a lot. I, I just, I got to get through all this madness sometimes. My brain is, you know. I got a few shout-outs. Shout-out to this truck driver. I don't know. Apparently, he's having a problem getting past these barricades. I just, I love what he does here, even though it's completely wrong. He just says, screw it. We're taking this, we're just, we're just going to go forward and let the chips fall where they may. He just takes the whole back of the truck off. As a bipolar person, I certainly understand the frustration the day you're having there. So, love to that truck driver. Hope he has a better day. Shout out to Gene Hackman, 93. Uh, Gene Hackman was uh, spotted at a drive-thru. Uh, I didn't even know he was still around. He looks pretty good for 93. I'll put a link to that. And shout out to the Garden Hose. Oh my God, somebody posted this. Uh, you know, when you're a kid, you... Us, you know, the 80s crowd, the 70s crowd, whatever. We all drank out of the garden hose when we were kids. Dude, let's listen to this. This guy's confused. He doesn't understand the garden hose. So somebody explains it to him. I just got to play this. this when y'all are saying that y'all used to drink from the hose, what, were sinks not an option? I love this. Yes, the garden hose. Of course, yes, we drank from it. You see, in our times, mm -hmm. we weren't actually permitted in the household because that's where the grown-ups lived in. We, of course, were children. We lived in this feral world called the outside. Many children today don't understand how this outside works. Most have never actually seen it except for to go to the car and back into the house. But it is a magical place, yes, but it is a hot place as well. And we would have to experience that of drinking from the water hose. You see, and the younglings, the younger of us all, they were not the wise ones. They would stand there first waiting, so thirsty for the delicious nectar from this hose. But this hose was a viper. Well, that first taste was hot, oh, hot hey. in the sun, yeah, and it would spit directly in their face. The wisest of us all would wait back until the water became cooled, and then we would take our drink. But of course, you are correct, we did have to do this. They were tougher times indeed. I still drink from the water hose when I'm out back cutting the lawn on my mouth. Stuff. I grab that water hose, I, I kink it, I, I twist, the, you know, I twist the, the nozzle off, and I take a drink from the damn right I do. You're crazy you don't know how to drink from a water hose. That's the best. That's all I got for this week, guys. If you'd like to report, please give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. I think it's something. What is this crazy guy talking about in the middle of the night? Just please rate the video. It helps me move around. You can also follow me on all my links to my Twitters, uh, Facebook, Gab, uh, Rumble, BitChute. All the links are at the bottom. You can support me on Patreon or directly with DonorBox. I put a lot of time into this every week to give you the news on a Sunday morning. Uh, this is going to be a late one. Probably won't have this up till 4 or 5. I got a lot of video editing to do. I still got to build all the links out. But uh, I got up, I got out of bed, I came home, I went went, went to sleep a little early because I had a long week. I got up, I was like, I gotta get up and do the report. But, you know, once I start reading the news, then I start, my energy starts coming alive! What kind of week are you guys? I hope everybody's doing good, I hope everybody's doing well, I hope the weather's good where you are. Like I said, it's 40 and, and raining here in St. Louis, the wind chill's 36, very cold out, very cold rain. Might turn over to some slushy stuff, I don't know. But... I don't know what's coming next. We've still got the World War III talk. We're still kind of hanging on the cliff when it comes to the COVID stuff. You know, they're, 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 they're pushing it now that the COVID's going to give you a heart attack unless you get the vaccine, which will save you. You see what's happening there, right? 
it's just madness. Anyway, tell me your thoughts. You guys take care. Stay safe. Thank you so much for hanging out with me on a Sunday morning while I give you the news. You guys remain vigilant always. I love you very much. Take care. Stay safe. Have a good rest of the week and have a good week. I will see you on the next one.